There's been all kinds of changes to AI recently, and there's a lot of really cool technology that's coming out with this. But how does this translate into the classroom? Well, we picked out five examples that we're gonna share with you that you can easily adapt these things to use for different things in your classroom. Let's check it out. So first up, we're gonna take a look at Copilot. Copilot is used to generate lesson plans and other education materials within seconds. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna be making a unit for water safety, something that I had a hard time finding uh, materials for online. So I'm gonna go over to where it says unit planner and let's get started. I'm going to search for water safety. And this is obviously a science, whoops, a science topic and then we'll hit next. Now, we can also decide what this unit wants to cover, like if there's something even more specific. So, for example, I wanted to have rules about how to be safe in the water, and then we'll also say um, ways people can be safe around the water. And then I also have specific learning standards that I wanna tie into this. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that learning standard and I'm just gonna paste it right into that final uh, box there. And then I'm gonna hit the final step. The last thing I need to do is decide how many lessons I want. This is gonna be for one week. So I'm gonna drop it down to five and then I'm gonna hit create unit. And let's just sit back and see how long it takes. So there we go. It took about 30 seconds for it to generate these five lessons. And let's take a look and see how they look. So the first one, Introduction to Water Safety. Uh, let's see, it gave us some videos there, uh, gave us a basic overview. Now you can always go ahead and you can enter in different information onto these as well, like your essential questions, so on and so forth. Uh, let's see, Water Hazards gave me another video for uh, day five another video. So you can see that you can add your content easily right on top of here, but it just makes this really, really quick and simple layout for your whole unit. All right, let's go on and check the next one. Okay, next up we have CurePod. CurePod makes interactive lessons filled with creativity and reflection all within a couple of seconds. So let's check this out. For here, I'm going to be looking for uh, story elements, which is another standard I have coming up. And this is going to be specific for my class, so first grade. And then I do want to tie in a learning uh, objective and a standard there. So I'm just going to copy my learning objective and paste it. And let's just let this do its magic and see what it comes up with. So there we have it. It's come up with these slideshows. And what's really neat about these slideshows is they're fully editable. So you can go in and change things out. Uh, you can also add in different types of activities that we have a poll, word cloud, drawings, all kinds of really neat stuff. And then you can even actually add your own content right here where it says add slides. So all within a couple seconds, this was just created for me. Now, let's go on to the next one. So next up, we have Deep Nostalgia. Deep Nostalgia is a video reenactment technology tool that uses uh, faces and photos and animates them. I, this is really, really cool, especially if you're a social studies teacher. You're going to want to check this out. What we can do is we can upload a photo, and then it brings that photo to life by re moving it around and reenacting some of those different movements from that particular character or individual. So uh, let's go ahead and let's pick a historical figure. I'm going to go and drop in uh, a picture of Abraham Lincoln. And let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to just go to my downloads. I've got a picture ready for us right here. I'm going to upload this photo. And let's see what it looks like. So there we have it. Now we have an animated picture of Abraham Lincoln, which is pretty crazy if you look at it. I mean, who would have thought to even come up with something like this? I mean, now we get a full view of what Abraham Lincoln could have looked like. Now, of course, you could do this with any historical figure. Uh, now, it also gives you the ability to download the video. Uh, you can also copy the link. Now, the download video, I think, is really important because how awesome would it be if you could download this video, drop it into something like a PowerPoint or a Canva presentation where you can have your students then voice over and explain some facts about that historical figure or they could even probably drop it into a flip video at some point in time really really cool stuff here let's go on and check the next one out so next up we have Synthesia. I hope I'm saying that right. And Synthesia is an app where you can take text and it will turn it into an AI created video. If you're really camera shy but you want your students to be able to hear the instructions more than once, this is for you. If you're an administrator that perhaps maybe you've got some training for your staff to do at the beginning of the year or maybe at a PD session and you can't be in all places at once, this is also for you. Let's check out how it works. The first thing you're gonna do is you're going to come over and you're gonna edit your video script. 
and I'm going to just teach teachers about our new LMS system. And then I'm going to say continue. Now it's gonna ask you to fill out this information. You'll need to fill out this information and then the email will actually take about five minutes and then it'll be emailed to you. So let's go ahead and do that now and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. So we're back and we have our video and I know this is just a basic template that we've created here, but let's see how it came out. Good morning, students. Here is how to log into our brand new learning management system called Canvas. Now, obviously you do wanna go and you wanna edit out all those different elements and things like that. But like I said before, if you're camera shy, this is definitely for you. All right, let's go on to check out the last one. All right, last up, we have Murph AI. Murph allows you to take text and turn it into speech. You don't have to do the talking. In fact, it's gonna do all that for you. So all you have to do is you drop in some text. So let's say, hello students. Whoops. Please read all directions carefully. All right, we'll just say that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press play. Let's see how it sounds. Hello students, please read all directions carefully. Pretty cool. You can also change the different types of languages or uh, voices, I should say rather. So for example, let's use Hazel here. Hello students, please read all directions carefully. Very cool. So I hope that you can find some of these different types of tools useful in your classroom. If you are, please let us know. And don't forget, like and subscribe to this video and make sure you stay tuned for more. Thanks guys.